What's up, co-reporters, and welcome back to my channel. I've got some updated information about Ryan Edwards and Mackenzie Standifer that I do have to warn you is quite upsetting. The other day, I ran a video about um, Mackenzie Standifer filing a police report against Ryan Edwards. Ryan had texted her out of the blue saying that he wanted to come by around 8 p.m. to pick up some kind of stupid computer cable from the home that he had destroyed about a year ago. Mackenzie, just for you guys' information, has a restraining order against Ryan. Ryan is still facing harassment charges for the way that he harassed Mackenzie the past year. Um, so it is very strange that he would all of a sudden insist on coming back to the home that he left in this state to find a cable that he could very easily get from his parents um, or get from his local electronic store or even Amazon.com if push comes to shove right so um the whole thing was rather weird and now today the u.s sun has released some 911 calls that are rather disturbing and so i am going to warn you before i play them but mackenzie calls them back after um ryan coming to the house and then she says listen after what just went down here I want to file a police report. And so let's take a listen to it together and discuss, okay? So it sounds like it's one big call, but just for you guys' information, I believe Mackenzie had called twice and Ryan had called once, okay? So let's take a listen and I will pause as necessary. Hey, I just need to um, speak to an officer. Um, my ex-husband tore up our, my house almost a year ago. He hasn't lived here in a year and he's trying to come over and get some things and I don't want him here. Um, and so I was just going to see if an officer could like just kind of be close to my house or whatever. Just he tried to stab me a year ago and I'm just a little nervous. So there you go. We had heard um, that in the past, Mackenzie had claimed that Ryan uh, got on top of her in their marital bed and put a K-N-I-F-E to her throat. And um, he he wasn't like, he wasn't actively trying to do anything in this one instance that she had described, but she said that he was basically saying, I could do this if I wanted to, like act right sort of a thing. So I'm wondering if this now, you know, situation is a whole other thing, in which case it's quite terrifying that this man allegedly brandished a knife of sorts around Mackenzie on multiple occasions now, allegedly, of course, right? That really, really is shocking. And again, like I always say, anybody in Tennessee, you need to, or especially in their jurisdiction, you need to do your best to, to figure out what to do to get the judge overlooking this case discipline. Mackenzie herself and her family need to look into what to do about this judge because it's absolutely unacceptable that someone like Ryan Edwards is roaming free because he's done a lot more than just that, okay? And he's violated his probation a million times, but I digress. Let's continue. Okay, and do you know when he's supposed to be coming over there? Yeah, he said within the hour. Okay, and what is his name? Ryan Edwards. Okay, and what was your name? Mackenzie Edwards. And he called you and told you he was going to come over? He texted me. Okay. And he, wa he wasn't, like, angry about it or anything, but just given the history, it just makes me very nervous. Yes, ma'am, I understand. So I think that's the end of the first call. He had called around 4 o'clock, and I thought that he was coming. I wasn't home. I was at work. Um, and then he texted me at, at 7.53. He said, I'll be by in an hour. And I said, you're not welcome here. And you said that was at 7.43? 53. 53, okay, yes, ma'am. And I'll see if I can have an officer um, meet with you and uh, kind of be in the area whenever, if he ever shows up. Yeah, and if they want to just give me a call, I mean, it's not, they don't have to, like, come here and, you know, whatnot. I mean, just as long as I can call and then not be so far away. You know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. So if they want to call, I can give them a rundown of the situation. I'm sure they're probably familiar with the situation. It's ongoing. No, I'm, not sure I'm, not sure. mm -hmm. I'm trying to get something out of a garage oh, of mine where I live. My ex-wife still lives there. We still own the house. Is there any way I could get a hold of this non-emergency line so I can get an officer to go with me to go get this? Sure. Uh, what's, uh, what's the address you need to go to? Morning, Lord. 
I don't know. I mean, you said your uh, your ex is currently at the house. She's still my wife. We're just in the process of getting divorced. Okay. And right now, I do not think it's a good idea if I show up without an officer because he is she is on. I don't know how to explain to you. Gotcha. So he's trying to like paint it like he's this victim and he needs a cop to accompany to the home because there's something wrong with Mackenzie. She is on one. Like the the I just can't honestly. My brain is frying. Like I'm trying to comprehend how someone who did this to that home can sit up there on the phone and say, I need help, I need protection because this woman is crazy. Like what kind of crack is this guy on to really seriously say that with a straight face? I'm telling you, they need to drug test him again because he's on meth right now. I'm telling you, this is crazy, crazy town, crazy town. And the gag is that the police officers, they have files of all of these incidences involving Ryan Edwards. So they're probably pulling it up going, oh my God, this man is crazy. Let's get the cop for his wife's protection. Like all the things that this guy has done have all been recorded. So Ryan, please save it with the Victim Act. Oh my God. Um, I'm on 58 right now. I tried to communicate with her to tell her I was going to go get some stuff out of the garage. And she told me to bring a police officer with me. So I will be more than happy to do that. Gotcha. And what is your name? Ryan Edwards. All right. And uh, what is your wife's name? Uh, Mackenzie Edwards. And do you know her date of birth? I do not, right offhand. And the fact that he doesn't even know his wife and baby mama's birthday. (coughs) Sorry. I'm just, wow. It's so on brand for Ryan. It really, really is. How do you not know that, Ryan? Like, oh my God. I bet you he doesn't even know his kids' birthdays either. This is crazy. Honestly, I let's continue. Hey, I called and asked if Officer Deputy Brooks could call me back because mm-hmm. um, I was speaking with her. However, I feel I think I probably need to make a report. The police were just out here with my ex husband or my soon to be ex husband, mm-hmm. and I need to go ahead and make a report because some of the stuff he said after he left here with them is a little concerning. And you guys just had the disorder prevention? We did, yes. Okay. And when Ryan left, he sent me a text. Um, after he left with the police, acting like he was the victim, he said, you'll be hard-pressed to find a place to live and no one will survive anything because you can't act grown. And, so, and then he also let me know that he was coming tomorrow to get weapons. And I don't, I'm not sure what he's talking about. He's out of his freaking mind. I have he, that recorded. Do you have like stuff in the house that's his with weapons? I have a pit. I have a, my personal pistol. Okay. But I don't have any weapons that are his. And whatever weapons that are owned by us, like in our marital property over the last eight years, mm-hmm. are weapons that I have purchased. That he, I don't know what he has done with. So. Okay. And what did you say? So that is quite concerning to hear that Ryan is currently in possession of some weapons that they had purchased as a couple, um, and she doesn't know what he's done with them. But he's over here claiming that he's got more that he needs to get from the house, knowing that that's not the case. She only has her own personal um, protection there. I find that to be rather alarming, to be honest with you. Again, like I said in my initial video, um, when the news broke yesterday, I don't think Ryan really wanted to go leave. This is a lazy man. This is one of the laziest men we've seen on the show, right? He did not want to leave his house to go there, to go look around for a damn cable that he could just go ahead and buy for five to $10. No, I think he did that as an intimidation tactic to let Mackenzie know that he is looking for trouble with her again. And so we all heard that text message that he allegedly sent to her afterwards in which he says that nobody is going to survive you know, in that household, this is it. Now he's talking about, oh, I need to come back for weapons. You know, who's to say that he's not going to pull up with his own weapons that he already has because Mackenzie says she doesn't know what he's done with them. So they were with him probably in his new place. Who's to say he's not going to show up and say, look, found it and rain and make it rain. You know what I mean? Like all of this stuff is very concerning. I'm worried that the their city 
is running out of time to protect Mackenzie and these kids. All of this is escalating to a very, very scary and very alarming place. We heard Mackenzie say earlier in the recording that Ryan had tried to STAB her in the past. Like, guys, something needs to be done here. This is scary. They're really running out of time. I'm, I'm serious. Say your name once. Mackenzie Edwards. Okay. And then your husband has the kids at this time. His mother does. He does not have, he does not even see them. So there you go. Now come to find out Ryan doesn't even see his own kids. Is anyone really even surprised by that? I wasn't joking when I said he probably doesn't even know their birthdays. Why don't I add on to see to it and say he probably doesn't even know their middle names? Do they have middle names? Because if they do, he does not know them. He probably doesn't even know their last names. This guy is just so on another planet. This whole thing is just ridiculous and a stop needs to be put to it. If he is not called back into court for violating his probation yet again um, in the form of these text messages, because now Mackenzie has made it a criminal matter, a criminal complaint, then there is something seriously long, wrong with the justice system in that town uh, that needs to be examined. Oh my goodness. Listen, hang in there, Mackenzie. This is not looking good, but um, she was so right to call the police and demand that Ryan come over with a police escort. Like she's been handling this like a pro. She was super calm on the phone call and everything like that. So on her end, she is handling everything the best way possible. It's just, we need for Ryan to just be sent back to jail or prison or whatever, where he belongs so that she doesn't have to tolerate this anymore and that the threat doesn't hang over her head and or over her children's head either. You know, I really, really do hope that this counts as a violation of his probation. Mackenzie, go ahead up and call up his probation officer, like do everything you can to send him back. Ryan Edwards does not belong in the free world, in my opinion, until he knows how to handle himself, or as he says, how to behave as an adult or grow up or whatever it is that he told that woman. Anyway, you guys, that, that's all I've got so far on this story as usual. I will be following it and providing updates as they come along. But for now, how does it feel to actually hear what it is that she had to say? Because we heard a report about it, but now the official 911 calls have leaked. Now we've got new information, such as she claimed that Ryan tried to STAB her. Um, and now we're also finding out that this man doesn't even spend time with these kids. Like it's only his parents that she shares custody with. There's a lot to digest. And of course, I do want to hear everything that you've got to say. So please do make sure to leave all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.